How to purify tap water with a traditional clay amphora. I bet you wish you had your own spring so you could drink fantastic water whenever you wanted it. Well, I haven't got one. Probably you haven't got one. But you can do absolute wonders with this amphora and you can make tap water very pure and absolutely delicious and that it might rival spring water. Using an amphora gives you the simplest and most low-tech way to purify your tap water and it can save you buying into expensive water purification systems or being obliged to buy plastic cartridges. It can also save you getting extremely wet and muddy collecting your own spring water. Amphora have been used for thousands of years for storing food and water or food and liquids and they are absolutely fantastic at purifying water. So this amphora can dramatically reduce the level of chloride in tap water and it can drastically reduce the level of nitrates in tap water. It's known to remove lots of other impurities too. It also increases the pH of tap water, which means it's more alkaline and better for the body. Plus, it actually energises the tap water. So how does this pot perform this amazing feat to, um, to purify water? Well, I suppose there are three principles going on. Purification of tap water, which is desirable, cooling, which is just nice, and energising. That's due to the egg or the amphora shape. That's special. First of all, the clay body of the pot is porous. So when you put your water in, you will actually see the water kind of coming through the outside of the pot. You'll see evaporation occurring, and that will give you nice cool water to drink. In this thermal image of the amphora, I've put hot water into a cold pot, shouldn't be allowed, but you can see the cold blue outline of the body of the pot as the pot perspires, much like the human skin, removing heat and toxins to the outside of the body. But actually what's happening is the impurities are going to be drawn through the body of the pot onto the outside of the pot and then you can scrub them off. Now, another very important thing that happens in these pots, these pots which are the amphora shape, is that you get um, special circulation currents which help in water purification too. As you know, warm things, even warm water, rises. So as the water heats up, it rises. It rises up through a central column in the middle and then it can't go any further, so it, it moves down the body of the pot. So you get these um, curves of circulation, and this is what actually improves the structure and the energy of the water. Besides energising and cooling the water, these pots increase the pH of the water, which means it's more alkaline and better for us. They reduce the chloride, the nitrates, ammonia, arsenic, and these pots have some antibacterial values too. These amphora transform tap water in many different ways. There are three different sizes to choose from. This is the smallest size, the uh, 5 litre pot, so it will give you up to 15 litres of purified water a day. Remember, the pots always lose some for evaporation and they'll always um, drip some down um, into your saucer as well, so you don't get every cubic centimetre. But that's a very handy pot um, for a small kitchen or for an office, um, something like that. That'll give you lots and lots of purified water. This is the um, seven litre pot. Um, so again, it might um, suit family use better. And um, it's again, it's still quite easy to hold and manipulate, and even when full, it's not too heavy. <laughs> but this is a different, different story altogether. This one will hold up to 25 litres, and I use it when I'm going to make um, my own beer or my own wine. 
to purify the tap water and get the chloride levels down and the nitrate levels down to give the yeast or the ferment the best um, start in life. So as you can see, these um, are very heavy, so you need to be quite strong if you want to own the large amphora. I know you'll want to put the pot to use straight away, but it will take a few days um, before the water tastes really fresh and delicious. Um, so to prepare the pot for use, to get the water to that state, you'll need to fill the pot up with water and leave it. Um, perhaps you could fill it up before you go to work, leave it during the day, tip it out in the evening, refill it, and you'll find after a few days that even the water will even smell um, really fresh and pure. And um, the, water, the pot is um, fully commissioned and ready for use. completely brand new fresh pot and I add the water in it and tip it out and etc to purify the pot I usually just do that in a sink or a shower because there's a lot of tipping and pouring but once I'm ready to use the pot I'll find it a really good strong glazed bowl to stand in because drips running down the outside and you, of course you don't want to ruin um, your surfaces so you need to find the right size bowl but I suggest um, you know, starting with a, a, perhaps a bigger bowl than you need and then you can work down to a, um, to a smaller bowl. The other thing I would say is if I just leave um, the pot full of water and go away, when I come back there may be a flood. Only use the pot if you intend to drink the water. You can't drink the water that's accumulated in the bowl because it's full of toxins but you can actually give it to plants. We leave the water in for eight hours at a time, which means that you can get three fills a day. If you can just get into um, a daily habit, so perhaps filling it up before you go to work or filling it up before you go to bed, and actually being sure to use that water somehow, remember pets, plants, us, and it does make fantastic tea by the way, it's not just for drinking water. Um, you've got your kefir and your home fermentations. Just keep on using the water. You value having this amazing resource that can give you water that is almost as good as um, spring water without um, involving all the muddiness, uh, especially um, what I encountered um, this morning um, trying to collect it. There's a little tiny bit of care that the pot needs and um, you need to clean it on the outside occasionally because remember the pot pulls the impurities through um, to the outside of the body. Never clean the inside. The inside is totally self-cleaning and never put anything in like your hands or ladle. Always pour from the pot and keep the pot covered um, you know, when you're conditioning the water and that way it will never need clean on the inside, only on the outside. So all you need to do is just give it a good scrub and then we're going to leave it to dry. Perhaps I'll put it out in the sun and that will be as good as new when I come to use it again. I'm going to use soap nut liquid which is 100% natural. Also I have a tiny confession to make. When we started filming this film um, by the spring this morning I was a little bit over enthusiastic and I stepped into the marsh and it went over my welly and uh, well I was rescued by the pot but it really is dirty and it does need a good scrub so um, again good scrubbing brush and some soap nuts and let's see what we can do That's a vast improvement. Uh, yeah, well, a couple of things have um, happened while making this video. Um, I just got this email um, from this customer who says, I have just accidentally broken the amphora I have purchased from you back in April. I have become so dependent on the lovely water and would so much appreciate if my order could be sent at the earliest possibility. 
no problem, Michael, we'll do that. Um, and also, um, you know that I did actually kind of uh, go up to my knees in the swamp um, by the spring. Um, hence, I think it's a really good idea. Um, <laughs> when I got back, I realised that I was in fact wearing my husband's boots. Um, so he's the one with the, uh, with the soggy boots now and mine are still nice and dry and warm. The water from the amphora is significantly different um, to tap water. It's far purer in aroma, far purer in taste, and it's more hydrating. You can feel that straight away with your first sip. I hope that you'll like our video. Go and find our website www.naturalspasupplies.co.uk and when you go inside the shop you'll see the amphora as the first item in the shop so it's really easy to find and there you can read all about the test results and you can refresh all about the care and use of the pot and um, yeah enjoy your fantastically fresh spring-like water.